What's going on everybody, Controversy here and welcome back to the channel. So one hero that's really been flying under the radar lately has been Zenyatta. And that's because he's not particularly good, but he's also not that bad either. But there is something about him that people are really upset about. If you haven't figured out what I'm talking about, it is his Orb of Discord. Now this isn't something that's new to him or new to the game, but what has changed is the game has now gone to a 5v5 meta instead of 6v6. Now while even in the 6v6 meta people have still complained about him, it was a lot more manageable considering that there was one extra tank. So now with the change to 5v5 considering there's only one tank, Zenyatta being able to discord the one tank is really quite impactful. The first indicator of whether you can win or lose this game is if there is a tank diff. Now there's multiple ways this diff can happen and one way is that one tank is simply just better than the other naturally. Another way this can happen is if one team is able to force an artificial diff on the other one. Meaning if the enemy team support or DPS or even the tank can force the other one to perform worse than yours then you will more than likely win the game. With discord it makes this incredibly easy because you can just put this discord orb on him. You have a range of about 40 meters. It has no cooldown and really the only way to counter it is to break a line of sight. But if you're breaking line of sight, in many cases, you're actually kind of throwing because you're taking yourself out of the fight. Then once you bring yourself back into the fight, you're going to get discorded again. And that's because, again, as we stated, it has no cooldowns. Now, one way to counter this is to simply dive the Zenyatta. He's pretty weak to dive, but with the proper team comp, you can make it pretty difficult to dive him because your DPS can simply just peel for that. Tomito here, who's pretty much always top 500, stated that Zenyatta Discord needs to be hard nerfed and the ability has dominated for so long and now with one tank and all the extra utility he has, he is far too strong. Now, if you're someone who noticed that the tweet was posted back in June, here is what Flats had to say about Discord. You don't have to look at them like, bro, what, what is that, dude? Really? Well, you're right, though. Discord actually is... Discord's next up on the chopping block. Discord actually is inherently not healthy because in Overwatch 1, in Overwatch 1, Discord made sense because of how many tanks you had. It increased focus fire. But in Overwatch 2, with only one tank, 95% of the time, it's actually best to just leave it on the tank and then everyone shoots at the tank because you're trying to take space and it ends up doing 25% more damage and you break the breakpoint numbers. The reason why Zen hasn't been touched yet is because support is struggling and the devs themselves actually said on my stream, on my stream, said that they don't want to make support any weaker because it's struggling at the moment. They need to make some changes and they need to fix it. And that's the next focus that they have right now. So although while some people may agree that Discord does need some sort of change or some sort of balance, it doesn't appear that the devs can do that currently because support is already so weak anyway. So making any sort of drastic change to Zenyatta would honestly really just kind of shift the dynamic on who you would need to be playing in support. Now the issue doesn't stop at Discord. It doesn't stop with Zenyatta alone. This is also an issue that affects Mercy. Now, I'm sure pretty of you have all realized about the rise of Mercy. If you go on any sort of YouTube search or TikTok and you look up the support tier list, you'll see Mercy pretty high on almost all of them. Now, Mercy really isn't that great of a healer. Like she is in a, she's in a support role, but she's really just not that good at healing. She does about 50 healing per second, and most supports do more than that. This is why Mercy is pretty much an off healer. What's really great about her is one, her mobility is crazy. She's incredibly hard to hit, and when she's an ult, she feels almost impossible to hit. But what is the best part about Mercy, the reason why people even use her and why you should be using her, is because of her damage boost. So just like Discord or people have an issue with Mercy being able to use damage. Here's a tweet from SK where she states, You can sit here and say Mercy isn't a problem all day, but does anyone have fun playing against Pharmacy? What about Mercy Echo, Mercy Widow, Mercy Sojourn? What about when she resurrects an effective 1000 HP tank after your team committed all your abilities to killing them? She goes on to state, if your response is just kill the Mercy and skill issue, please take a moment to think about why I'm top 500 on all roles and you've never played past Diamond. Now the jab she threw at the end was pretty unnecessary in my opinion, but the point is, is that she does have you know, the experience dealing with a top tier, high elo, best of the best mercy player, while many people who may not notice this is an issue because they may not be in that high of an elo. But one thing to currently think about is a lot of players have an issue with Sojourn right now, even though she cannot on her own one shot anyone. It's just not possible. 
max damage that she can do to someone is 195 if she has zero sort of damage amps but then at that point once you apply a damage amp she's one shotting any squishy in the game it could be discord or it can be the mercy damage boost and then let's take ash ash does 150 to a headshot if you give her a damage boost she does 195 for a headshot which is equivalent to what sojourn does with a max charge railgun so the sad reality here is it looks like getting any sort of damage amp currently is really just an issue. It makes it incredibly hard to balance the game around because then at that point you have to worry about what this hero can do if they receive any sort of damage amp. Lane from Team Sentinel stated that still a firm believer of damage amps needs to be removed from the game, i.e. Mercy Boost, Discord Orb. Their existence makes balancing DPS a nightmare. The best case being Farah, as if they up her damage, the combination of Farah plus Mercy would be too powerful, so she's been untouched. And honestly, this is just true. Like, Farah really isn't that strong. If you give her a Mercy, she can be incredibly difficult and quite annoying to deal with. But on her own, she's incredibly simple to beat. She's not difficult at all. And to be honest, she could use a buff. She's really not that great. Echo is honestly just leaps and bounds better. So why would anyone play Farah if they could just play Echo? Well, Farah is easier to play. And because of that, they haven't really even buffed her at all because if they do, then that combination of the Mercy plus the Farah becomes really, really strong. So at this point, what can we really do? What solutions do you guys have? I wanna know them down in the comment section, but I wanna tell you guys a few that I've heard. One thing that I've heard about Discord is that they could change it to a slow ability. One of the issues with Zenyatta is that he becomes incredibly easy to dive. And yes, he has his booping with his melee, but he still isn't that difficult to deal with if you get on top of him. So if you made it so where you slowed him to slow the enemy that's diving him to the point where whoever is chasing him is moving slower than Zenyatta can escape, then I think that would be way healthier to increase Zenyatta's survivability. Although I do think due to the nature of slow effects that I think that this would need to have a cooldown on it and this isn't just something that he could always throw out like he can with Discord. It would also introduce counterplay to it so where if you found a way to get the orb off of you that you, he couldn't just throw it right back on you regardless i think this idea alone is healthier than discord so another idea that i've seen is just as anna has her anti-grenade which stops you from being killed period what they've suggested is that you give him his orb the ability to reduce healing so whenever anyone is has this orb attached to them they get either maybe the 30% that they already would have taken, the additional damage they would have taken from the traditional Discord orb, or you could even cut the healing in by half. So now anyone that has this orb on them will have to get a lot more heals pumped into them and to make it easier for them to eliminate. Both of which I think are superior ideas than giving the team is entire 25% damage team buff on one singular enemy especially when we have just a one tank meta i also think that both of these changes if you choose chose either of them neither of them would make zenyatta worse at all he would still be pretty much in the same position that he is now where he still has very low healing but he has utility which is what makes him great and both of those utility ideas are worth picking there's really only one idea i've seen proposed for mercy to replace her damage boost and that would be to give her instead of the damage boost beam that they would get a reinforced beam, which essentially would cause whoever she's attached to to get reduced damage. Personally, I feel like that's really broken, so I don't really think that that is gonna be the play, but it is the only alternative that I've ever seen. But I wanna know what from you guys, what do you guys think would be a good replacement if you think one should be at all? If you guys enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it. And if you guys wanna come back and see more Overwatch content, hit that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.